The UN has predicted that we need 70% more food by 2050. How are we going to achieve that when only 10% of the Earth's surface is suitable for agriculture and we use a third of that to grow livestock feed? You must be crazy, there isn't that much bread in the world. The soil we need to look after as that's what we've got and that's what future generations are going to have. Applying fertilisers and artificial substances isn't doing it the world of good. To me, circular economy is the closest that you can get to nature. You can eat an apple and once you throw it with the small seeds of the apple, a new apple tree will grow and new apples will come. The loop is closed. We farm as close to nature as is possible. We're sat in the milking parlour at the moment, so we milk water buffalo here uh, to, to make mozzarella cheese with their milk. During the summer, we harvest our grain. The animals eat the grain, then put it back onto, back onto the straw, mix it in with the straw, and then it gets spread back out onto the fields. It rots back down into the soil, releasing nitrogen and other key elements naturally, rather than putting artificial fertilizers on. Using what we, what we have and what the animals produce is what would have happened in nature. Growing Underground is an urban farm. It's situated 33 metres underneath the streets of London in a World War II air raid shelter. That is two, three, four storeys above us, you can hear. So hydroponics is a method of growing without the aid of soil. Nutrient is carried to the roots of the plant through water. The water returns back down to the lower level. It's filtered, cleaned, more nutrients added, and is ready to recycle again. We use 70% less water than conventional agricultural methods. Hydroponics is, is very good for that efficiency of use of resources. With conventional agriculture, fertilizers are put onto the land to make it seep through and cause harm to local habitats. What nutrients we do use are recirculated so nothing can filter out and harm anything outside of our closed system. Ojo, it's a membrane made of seaweed that is biodegradable and as well edible. We hope to revolutionize the way that people think about packaging. Our main inspiration was nature and the way nature encapsulates liquids in a really natural way using membranes. From the small scale like cells to fruits like oranges, that is a really efficient way to encapsulate the maximum amount of volume with the minimum amount of material. Seaweed is a natural resource that doesn't compete with any kind of crop, doesn't affect farming, you don't need to water it, you don't need to use fertilizer. So it's a potential resource that we can sustain ourselves with. We take some resources from the ocean as seaweed and bring it back in the form of nutrients and fibers and that hopefully will help to, to grow more seaweed. What do you want to eat? Bacon and eggs right now. This is a business model that stacks up there is going to be the ability to do a lot more with vertical farming than we can currently do. And that will allow threatened agricultural lands to replenish and other environments such as rainforests to return back to their natural form. We envision a world where packaging is as close as possible as nature. It will be something that could generate more products, not create more waste. I think to achieve this, we have to work together as consumers, as companies, as individuals, engage on, on making this happen. On a global scale, we need to evaluate farming. So me, myself, I'm, I'm having my turn on the two and a half thousand acres of its lava stoke, and I need to look after it for the person that's going to follow me. We need to look after what we've got.